Hi, y'all. I'm downstairs, and I just finished looking at your scan. So it's actually not as bad as you think. You did the damage you did this summer. Not that bad at all, actually. So this is the scan that you took last Monday, 9-9, versus scan you took um, at the end of June, June 20th. So June, July, August, September, not quite three months. So, ooh, excuse me, sorry. You had, um, you had basically, you gained 3.1 pounds of body fat. So you gained about a pound of body fat a month over the summer, which isn't that bad at all. You also gained some muscle. Um, so you gained 1.3% of your body fat. Uh, your, your upper body actually increased in strength. Your ability to support your body weight increased. Um, 2.7% in your right arm, 2.4% in your left arm, 1.3% in your core. Your legs decreased a little bit, which we always, you know, keep an eye on because it's close to uh, less than 100% able to support your body weight. So your right leg decreased 0.9% ability to support your body weight. Left leg was 1.4%, but you're still above 100, but we're like right on that edge. So, um... The scan is recommending 3.1 more pounds of body fat loss in the June scan, which isn't that bad at all. June scan was like 15, um, and, or 15.9, and now this is 19. So, the scan is recommending that you lose 19 pounds, pounds of body fat. Um, so, your visceral fat levels went up one level as well. So, I ran your numbers, and I'm going to be putting a new packet in your app as well. So the current numbers, I don't think you were hitting them at all. I know you weren't. Where protein is 154, carbs 170, and fat 75, and your calories were at 1,973. So I'm reducing your numbers right now with the intention of losing 15 pounds of body fat between now and the end of November. So let's say now to Thanksgiving. So protein recommendations, 157 grams, carbs, 116, fats, 52, and your calories are 1,555, which is right about your basal metabolic rate of 1530. So that's good, but we have to hit these numbers. We can't go less than, um, and obviously, you know, going more than, but the issue is, I know the weekends and stuff like that so maybe you can try to prepare food for the weekends a little bit at least half the day when you're not going out to eat prepare that like on Thursday or something for the weekend and then um you know obviously go out to eat and enjoy but um like just having food prepared for your breakfast snacks and lunches in the weekend I think would help a lot all right, let me know questions, and I'm going to throw, I'm trying to open it up now. I'm going to throw a new uh, nutrition packet in the app for you. Okay, let me know questions.